Everything went your way here in Memphis. It sure did. I'm glad to win. Is this about the biggest win you've ever had? Yes, sir. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen, from Union Grove, Alabama, Richard Wilson. They love him here. Congratulations and good luck. You won't see any better pulling than we have just seen. A double pull-off here from Memphis, Tennessee with the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Circuit. The pullers went right down to the end. They screamed those engines, and Richard Wisden won it by two feet. We'll be right back with more of the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Series. The 5,800 modified tractors will go at it when we return. Bring up the multi-engine modified dragster tractors, the big boys. This is how the sport got started over 25 years ago. And let's go to the action right now. Jesse Pendleton in the 5,800-pound modified class out of Linden, Ohio. He's running a KB 426 cubic inch, all aluminum block, heat black engine. Jesse Pendleton with the Piddler. That weight box coming up. The weight is catching him. He is going to take the pull. He is going to take the pull. They're going to leave the sled set where it's at. Inch Pincher 2 and Bob Chickering are up next. These classic pulling rails maintain the look, power, and excitement of the early days of truck and tractor pulling. Back in the 60s, innovations such as the Allison B12 on Inch Pincher raised the competition to a much higher level. Bob Chickering out of Bloomfield, Iowa. And he can really turn those tires. The most unusual tractor in America today, Will Ridinger, he has pulled for 35 years. A farmer from Circleville, Ohio. Waterman Racing Engine. running tough this weekend. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. It's a pretty good weekend. I think track's doing real good for me. Yeah, no question it is, isn't it? Now, it looks like you're running light on the front on purpose. Yes, I am. On a short track, you got to run light. You got to get front wheels in the air to go anywhere. Running super strong. It looks like you're going to be tough in this class in 1988. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Thank everybody in Memphis coming out to watch us tonight. All right, Ron Headley takes the lead here. A tremendous run. Now, here's a tractor that used to run two blown Chevrolet engines, and a couple of years ago, Jerry Fornash sold the Chevys and went to the Allison. He says it's much easier to work on an Allison, and he doesn't have as much repair on an Allison as he does the Chevrolets. Screaming that Allison aircraft engine. 
Lurch, a terrific run for Jerry Fornash, who has pulled for nearly 30 years in the Iowa Tractor Pulling Association and also on the TNT Redman pulling circuit the last couple of seasons. From St. Genevieve, Missouri, the Blue Ox, Eddie Gavro. Now, he can hit around 10,000 RPM with these twin Chevrolets out here. He'll stream these engines. Watch the pylon, the checkered flag on the Red Man TNT pylon. That's the distance to beat. Ron Headley out of Fairfield, Iowa, is in the lead. It's going to take a tremendous run. An excellent run, but Blue Ox's best is not quite good enough to overtake Ron Headley and Betty's headache. Ron will win the class more than 10 feet ahead of the Ox's second place run. Dave will be back with a winner after this. We're in Memphis, Tennessee, and for the second night in a row, congratulations, Ron Headley. Thank you. I like being in Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, you are popular here, no question about it. And it was a great win. Yes, it was. Anytime you can win with TNT, it's a good show. Well, that's going to do it. It's been another great week on the TNT Red Man All-American Pulling Circuit. And for everybody, I'm Dave Grimm. So long until next time. Horsepower. Horsepower.